Hello security tube. I found this interesting tool called Hyena on packet sound security today and I thought I'd share it with you. So basically Hyena is a packet generation utility uh, which can work on the Mac, Windows and Linux based systems and can conduct DOS, DDoS as well as MITM attacks. So in this video, we we'll look at a quick demo of the tool. So once you download and install Hyena, you'll have to go into the uh, install directory, which is in program files Hyena. And there basically go through the readme and the how to, which are quite detailed. So uh, if you actually go through the readme file, you will get a list of all the attacks, which Hyena is capable of. Uh, you know, to kind of break it down to you, ARP, ICMP, TCP, DHCP, you know, and a couple of other type of attacks is what Hyena can do. So in this video, we'll quickly look at a demo of DHCP discover flood attack using Hyena. So what is a DHCP discover flood? Now, whenever your laptop or your computer boots up and let's say you've configured it for DHCP, then as soon as it comes up, it will actually first query for the available DHCP servers. It does that by sending a DHCP discover packet. Now, what happens is all DHCP servers, which are in the same LAN are supposed to reply to that DHCP discover packet, which is a broadcast packet and say that, you know, yes, I am available and probably we can go ahead and do a DHCP transaction and give you an address. So in a DHCP discover flood attack, basically an attacker will flood the LAN with DHCP discover packets to which the DHCP servers will keep on replying. And hence, as one can imagine, the entire bandwidth very soon would be consumed. Right, so let's quickly look at how we can do this using Hyena. So basically, we'll use the Hyena.exe file here. The first thing you need to do using Hyena is actually to figure out which interface you can run it on. So use the minus L in order to go ahead and list the available interfaces. Now this is a bit cryptic. Uh, so an easy way to figure out which one of these is actually your LAN would be just to go ahead and open up Wireshark. And you know, in my case, I want to do on the gigabit ethernet interface. And as one can see, basically the interface ID ends in CE, which means the interface number is actually five in my case. Now, once you know that, what we can do is now run Hyena. Give the minus I, which is the interface number. And then we go ahead and supply the attack type using the minus A option. So it's DHCP discover attack. And then we go ahead and supply the source for the packet. Now the source basically will consist of two things, right? One is the MAC address and the other is the IP address. Now what we want to really do is randomize the MAC address in the case of a DHCP discover attack. So go ahead and put percentage as just a percentage, sorry. And then as far as the IP address is concerned, because the laptop has just booted, there's no question of having an IP address and in DHCP discover backets, hence the IP address is always set to all zeros. Now comes the destination and the destination MAC address has to be the broadcast address, right? Which is all X. And the destination IP address would also have to be the all broadcast address. So what Hyena will do now is start sending DHCP discover packets to the broadcast address from arbitrary MAC address combinations, right? So in order to view this, uh, you know, the thing which we can do is go ahead and fire up Wireshark. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and start sniffing. And we can see a lot of packets going through. 
But because we are interested in DHCP discover, uh, we just mentioned boot P or the boot protocol as the one we are interested in. So no packets right now. So before we actually start a flood, probably what we should do is try and just send one packet. Just to make sure that things are working fine. So the option to limit the maximum number of packets is hyphen capital C. Go ahead, set one. And now let's actually go back to our Wireshark and run this. So if you notice, finished one packet has been sent. Now, if we actually go here, we'll notice that a DHCP discover packet was sent. And as we can see from Wireshark, it's from an arbitrary MAC address sent to the broadcast address. Right? And basically the DHCP server, which is now actually going ahead and replying to our DHCP discover packet. So let's try this once again, send another packet. Actually notice that we get a DHCP offer. So what we'll do right now, and if you, if you actually kind of go ahead and just go back for a minute, we'll now send a flood of packets. And as one can imagine, once we remove the limits, practically Hyena is going to be pumping packets, right? And the DHCP servers will try to keep up with this by trying to send as many offers as possible. Can clearly see the number of packets changing here, a couple of thousand being sent. So. Uh, in short, this is how you conduct the DHCP discover attack. Now, I don't want to run it because my entire LAN is going to collapse and you know the entire bandwidth will be eaten away. So, okay, coming back. So as we had mentioned, we can also do remote attacks. How is that possible? Well, we have a Hyena D, which is a Hyena daemon executable also available. So what can be done is you can run Hyena D as a daemon, which would be a background process, and then connect remotely to a Hyena D, which is running on a remote computer, right? And then you can go ahead and initiate attacks on that remote LAN using Hyena D. So this is how it is possible to conduct DDoS attacks using Hyena. I leave it as an exercise to you in order to run Hyena D. Just go through the documentation. It's simple enough and you should be able to figure out how to run high energy. So well, that's all for this video. I'd really encourage you to download Hyena and try it out. And would also really appreciate if you can leave a comment behind, uh, you know, on my video as well as on other videos on Security Tube. Uh, you know, we've been working quite hard to put all these videos together. And it's very encouraging when somebody leaves behind a comment. That's all. Thank you.